Blacklist Games has a title I'm excited to share some information about with you. Alter Quest. This is for 1 to 4 players, ages 14 and up, and should take you about 30 to 90 minutes. In Alter Quest, each player chooses to play as a hero with their own cards and equipment. The players choose a quest deck to undertake, a threat deck to serve as the main enemy force, and a sinister villain deck. Each of these decks are fixed and require no assembly, but can be mixed and matched to create a wide variety of combinations. In addition, the enemies in the chosen threat deck, the danger of lurkers is always present in every quest. Lurkers are represented by a deck of various types of enemies that add to the variety of enemies heroes must defeat in each game. While heroes attempt to complete their quest before drawing the attention of the almighty villain, the unstoppable magic of the altars constantly affect the game. The altar dice are tied to the mystical powers known as the runes, which can enhance cards in different ways. Each time an altar die is used, either by the heroes or by the enemy, that die is rolled to create an ever-changing mix of runes to draw upon. Inspired by the modular deck system that was introduced in the Street Master and Brook City, Alter Quest is an epic fantasy game that provides a deep game experience, whether as a one-off or as an engrossing campaign. Oh, all right, now, come on, come on. First of all, yes, this is a dungeon crawl. This is a fantasy dungeon crawl. Therefore, this is some version, some type, somewhere in the seed of its creation, if nowhere else, a D&D-inspired game. This is also very, uh, well, let's just say it, Hero Quest. <laughs> it, it, it does seem uh, heavily inspired by both. So, uh, of course, right away, I want to know more about this. And uh, right away, uh, I also kind of want to try it because of nothing else. I know me and I know that I would love to try this. So everything that I've seen about this, uh, th there's no need for a one Right? As in one versus all, this is done by the decks, so the players get to experience this without one of them uh, sitting out, so to speak. They're not really sitting out, they're running the game, they're the game master, they're the Zargon, they're the, the, the whatever it is, but they're, uh, they're not in this game. Everyone's sitting down playing the game, it appears to be is going to be playing a hero and seeing it from that perspective. I think that's pretty cool. The way it was read, I mean, I'm not familiar with the system it was talking about, but just everything else that uh, it's saying about how the, the decks are put together, uh, how they, what they represent, the hero decks, their equipment decks, uh, quest decks it was talking about, threat decks, villain decks, uh, it all really has, has, has captured my imagination, and I, I really love these card-based driven, uh, story, not story games, but action story games, I guess we could call them. I do. I like that a lot. And this looks like it's going to be another version of that. So I want to try it. Now, the minis for this look okay. The, uh, the, the hero figures look good. I wouldn't say they necessarily look great, but uh, they're, they're nice to look at. But also, I'm really looking at the furniture and terrain pieces. A lot of games don't do this. There's not a lot of games that will give you these pieces, which of course, yes, does kind of boost the price up a little bit, let's be honest. Uh, but, oh man, it's, I love the eye candy of it. <laughs> I really do. With the number of uh, scenarios available, plus there are some expansions out for this, it really does add on to the replayability. New uh, heroes are introduced, so giving the option of replaying old ones uh, even more multiple times than you would have without that, uh, it, it adds on to that very RPG-style feel that uh, I'm looking for in a board game. I mean, come on, absolutely everything that I've read about this game, the pictures that I've seen for this, it, it does it all just, it grabs me and makes me realize how excited I am to get this game and then get it to the table and then play it and then showcase something like this. This is a showcase style game uh, if ever I've seen one. But that's not the only reason I'm excited about it. Everything else that I've said, the way it looks, the way it feels, the card based system, uh, th this, this really kind of interesting dice manipulating system or, or dice system to manipulate card effects. 
uh, you know, really has uh, piqued my curiosity. And I do I want to try all this. I want to try it. I want to see it. I want to experience this game. So if you're a fan of fantasy dungeon delves, then I think you two are going to want to look into Blacklist Games' Alter Quest. <laughs> 